Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Node.js full tutorial series for absolute beginners. We are continuing to learn about the top 12 built-in modules as part of Node.js and today we are going to learn about Util. Util is an extremely important um, module which provides a lot of utility functions which can really be helpful in different scenarios while you are building a complex application. Today we are going to do first theory and then we'll do a lot of use cases around it. Let's get started. This is part 7.6. We are learning about built-in modules. This is the sixth module I've covered previously. Please check HTTP, FS, all of these modules. This is going to be an extremely comprehensive uh, playlist that I'm creating with 50 plus tutorials in it. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and like these videos. <coughs> Alright, so talking about built-in modules, I already covered HTTP module, file system, path, URL and events. Today we are learning about util module. Util module provides a lot of utility functions which are commonly used for programming scenarios. A lot of different scenarios often be used when you're building a little complex application. These includes a lot of things like uh, Promisify, formatting, etc. That being said, let's jump right into code and do some use cases. Alright, so I'm in my Node.js tutorial folder. Let's build a new file built in module util.js all right so the first thing we'll do is to obviously import the util module individually like i say if you use look at these modules they may look small uh, but all of these are required especially when you are building uh, real time applications so i've imported util module and file system right that i've covered earlier what i want to show you is the promisify uh, right util.promisify that's the first one i want to show you so let's say read a uh, file sync <coughs> and you can use util dot promisify right so this is basically used for say converting a callback callback based function into a promise based function okay pretty very very useful one so uh, let's say fs read file okay uh, read file now what we'll do is now it was a callback based now it has become promise based so what you can do is read file sync dot now you can see there are different options um, so let's pass that and here we need to pass the file name let's say example dot txt that's the file name I want to read and let's give a utf8 utf8 as the encoding and then we'll say dot now you can see a lot of options come up but I'm, I'm interested only in dot then and what we'll do once you get the data you can just do a console log for now console log log data and dot you can say let's say catch and if there was an error console dot log error okay remove the extra one and there you are so if you look at this right now not random file let's read file sync okay so <coughs> you can remove this all right so read file sync you're passing a file name and the UTF formatting. So this Promisify will convert this callback based to a promise based. Now you can use then catch and all of that. So if you see earlier it was not coming. So I'll just show you so you can see then finally and catch are coming. All right. So that's the most simplest thing that you can get started. And let's run this um, to run it. We'll do node built in module util dot js and you can see it says welcome to arc tutorials because that's what is in the example dot txt file you can see here example dot txt so from callback now it has become a promise based okay very very useful especially um, it was a like read file or any other method that you have which is basically dependent on callback based mechanism you can convert that into a promise based mechanism very very handy and useful tool the next one that I want to show you is a simple utility uh, of this util uh, which is called format so this is yet another very powerful one so let's say you want to capture something let's say formatted text okay so I'm passing util dot format okay now here you can pass the strings and you can put percent okay something like 
percent s like we are parameterizing them right uh, percent s okay is let's say uh, percent d tax holder right so now you can pass the values dynamically here and it will become that string okay so the first value i'll say is arc let's say and the second value you will pass is let's say um thousand right and if you do a console log of this formatted text you will see that output you can see arc is 1000 tax holder right so <coughs> basically you're formatting a string by passing parameters right and that's a utility pretty cool one you don't have to build that string by yourself append all of that it's readily available as part of util okay that's use case number two um, I can show you a um, couple of more let's say inspect right now when you're working with complex objects uh, which in most likely cases you will be when you're working with node.js uh, let me build an object first now here let's say name and you can add uh, some more details um, say website So you have a simple object now you want to inspect this at real time okay so you can do that so you can do something like uh, inspected object equal to you can say util dot inspect object and it will take some parameters okay like for example depth right um, you can pass null for now and you can also pass other values like say colors true okay and do a console log of uh, inspected object okay so see the output now <coughs> okay so you can see here um, color is true so it has become colored and it's printing nicely right so basically if you don't pass this and if you just do a console log and this is usually helpful when you're writing a file for logging or debug purpose or for any any such thing right um, that would be pretty handy for you okay now you would you would think what's the difference so here you can mention the depth that you want to pass right if you have let's say multiple child objects etc etc that would be there so those things you can manipulate so basically it's for inspecting the object okay and it would show you the output accordingly the last I'll show you is a util dot um, inherit. That's another important uh, one. Inherit. So how this works is pretty simple, straightforward. You can just bind an event, okay, and you can do a inherit of that particular events. So let me bring in event emitter from the events that we learned, okay. Emitter dot events this we have already covered as part of the events module so make sure that you go through that all right so let's define a function and I'm going to say SMS emitter right so this the object is <coughs> it should trigger a message or event emit whenever there is an SMS that is sent so you can do something like event emitter dot uh, call and you can call that particular this now what it would do is every time it's called it will know the um, instance of it right so now you can write util dot inherit right inherits um, say SMS emitter comma event emitter okay and let's do this so so once you have inherited it now how do you use it right so you can just do something like uh, my s as emitter equal to you can say new SMS emitter okay and you can then use this my SMS emitter dot uh, say on something uh, when you want to trigger something and say um, say a custom event you want to trigger right custom event and you can always uh, throw in a callback function for it say console dot log um, custom event called okay so here you're calling a custom event 
based on this particular event emitter and it will it is basically just emitting it right so you can then call that and say emit and pass custom event so now this will get triggered so here we are defining a new type of um, this is a method and when you do inherits it will automatically inherit the functionality from this particular function and I'm triggering the event custom event here alright let's run this and you can see here custom event called right so these are some of the basic things uh, of util module that you can use uh, the first I showed you was util promise promise if I that's number one uh, the second one that we saw was util format the third uh, we saw is the inspect object util inspect yet another useful one and the last we saw is util inherit inherits right all right so these are some of the commonly used cases with util module i think that's all you should be aware at this point since you're learning and like i said if you see here now we have started clubbing more than one modules to do work right so as you start building real-time project you'll find yourself using all of this together and that's what makes node.js extremely popular and powerful i hope it's clear in the next episode we will learn about the stream module very very important and we'll continue learning this built-in modules till part 12 and then we'll progress in the series um, it's important to learn all of these modules because like i said you will work with them sooner or later in your angular js projects thank you so much for joining uh, in this episode i'll see you in the next episode thank you please do hit that like button for me and subscribe to the channel